This is a guide to pressure transducers, touching on the tools and materials required, troubleshooting where and how faults present, and then replacing a faulty pressure transducer. Minimal tools and materials are required to replace a pressure transducer. Just a short Phillips head screwdriver, a pressure transducer, and a wiring harness. Faulty pressure transducers can manifest in a few different ways. Typically, error codes will be displayed, or a readout from a transducer will be out of the norm. Some of the error codes could be due to a faulty pressure sensor or connection, or simply a lack of a raw ingredient like water, CO2 or syrup. If the FBD's LCD is displaying tank PSI or error Z, this means that during the filling process, the tank pressure transducer has stayed at zero PSI for more than 30 seconds, and the filling state has shut off. If you see S fill error or error S, during the filling process, the tank pressure transducer has stayed below the refill value for between one and four minutes, and then the filling state has also shut off. Sear out indicates that the syrup has run out. Check that this is the case. Inspect the bag and box, CO2 lines and pumps. If this is not the case, then replace the pressure transducer. CO2 out indicates that the CO2 pressure has dropped below 35 psi. You need to inspect that the CO2 gauges and regulators, the cylinders, and inspect the lines and valves for leaks. If no issue exists, replace the pressure transducer. H2O out indicates that the water pressure has dropped below 35 psi. Check the water supply and internal FBD water system. Inspect the water filters, regulators, taps, backflow preventers, water pressure reducers and water pump. If no ex issue exists with the water system, replace the pressure transducer. Watch for pressure transducer readings of 0 or 99 psi. These could be false readings or poor connections. 99 will typically display when an open circuit occurs or if actual circuit pressures are greater than 99 psi. Water circuit pressure, for example, of 99 psi occurs when either the CO2 or water supply pressures are outside the required critical FPD settings. It would typically mean that the CO2 supply is set greater than the required 72 psi and or the water supply pressure is greater than 70 psi. Poor harness connections can cause the pressure readings to float. The pressure transducer should read zero at zero psi. There should be no offset. It is acceptable to have a differential of two psi, but no more. Before replacing a pressure transducer, confirm that the wiring harness is first okay. Confirm that the plugs have good connections and are not under any strain or loose. Swap the harness over with a known good transducer and then check the reading. If the harness is the issue, first replace the harness. Then, if the pressure transducer is still at fault, replace it. The pressure transducers are all located on the header assembly. This is behind the cover, directly below the keypad. This is a complete view of the header assembly, where the solution modules for each barrel are mounted and the CO2 module assembly is mounted. Here are displayed the three common pressure transducers to the complete header assembly, water, unregulated CO2 and regulated CO2. There are tank and syrup pressure transducers on each solution module for each barrel and these readouts are displayed under side 1, side 2 and side 3. This machine has a regulated pressure transducer that is always reading the same. So currently the gas is off. You can see coming up with alarms saying syrup out, CO2 is out. So we'll go into the menu now. So we want to scroll across until we come to service menu. And here we select grey button, which enters us into the service menu settings. And we now scroll through to readouts and we go to common readouts where it shows you our water pressure which is off, our unregulated pressure, there's three, our regulated should therefore be zero as well. And plug this one. So we can see that now that I've unplugged it, it's going back to zero. I plug it back in again and there's no pressure in the system and we're climbing back up again. If I scroll across to the 
unregulated CO2 pressure and I use its wiring harness and I plug it in here I get a reading again there is no pressure in this system yet the pressure transducer is displaying it so we know that it's definitely the pressure transducer each pressure transducer has its own wiring harness with a plug on each end. They all originate from the upper control board behind the keypad. Each transducer has a very specific location which is clearly labelled. Before physically removing the pressure transducer, we need to ensure that the system is isolated from the water supply, the CO2 supply and the electrical supply. We then need to bleed the pressure out of the header, assemb header assembly or unit. And the best way to do that is using a sample point from one of the solution modules. Turn it on until all the pressure has been bled out. Easiest way to remove the pressure transducer, again, Simply unclip the control wiring loom. We're always working on a dead, unenergized system. And then simply we need a small screwdriver due to the coil above us and the filter to access these screws here. We simply just turn, they're in a plastic header block, so we need to be careful. and we can remove our pressure transducer. We get our new pressure transducer. Simply place it in the valve. Starting my finger tight. Now keep in mind it's a plastic block, not to over tighten them. With the pressure transducer installed and reconnected, we can then reinstate the cover plate. Reinstate supplies. CO2, water and electrical. To review that the pressure transducer is now functioning correctly, we'll review the following steps. We'll scroll through to the service menu. Press the grey button to get into the settings. We want readouts and we want to scroll through to common readouts. So we have water pressure of 81. We have unregulated pressure of 68 aiming close for 70 so that's fine regulated co2 pressure of 59 and we want 60 plus or minus so that's fantastic so now the pressure transducer is now fixed so we can now turn on our units again start each barrel by pressing off defrost and then run